what your Elden Ring armor set says about you. Godric Knight Armor. You're cool and you either like green, orange, the shield, or the white plume. This armor is one of the first sets you can come across in the game, and its style is surprisingly quite good. Practical, easy to farm, and with few Godric Knights actually roaming the game, you'll find this armor set to be quite fashionable. The Banished Knight Armor. The helm and cape are top tier, and you respect fashion that has good poise too. If you're wearing this armor, I automatically assume you're a Chad. Banished Knight Armor. Altered. You recognize that it's the less pretty armor of the two, but the practicality of not wearing a cape can't be slept on. If you're wearing this, you have to be a boss. Dino guy, snag on takeoff. Splash down, sucked into a vortex. No kicks! The Tree Sentinel set. Ever since the Tree Sentinel killed you a thousand times in the beginning of the game, you've been seeking revenge every time you start up New Game Plus or even a new playthrough. Wearing this armor is just a part of that revenge. The Bullgoat Armor. Fashion? Never heard of it. We live for poise and optimization, and Bullgoat is the name of the game. If you know any armor in Elden Ring, it's probably this one. The Veteran Set. Maybe the helm isn't the pinnacle of fashion, but the rest still looks pretty cool, and it's got great poise too. The number one chosen set of sweaty PvPers, you'll never see this armor on a noob. The Lionel Set. You either follow the beat of your own drum or follow the crowd and there is no in-between. Half fashion, half cool hat, all solid black armor which is surprisingly effective in Elden Ring. Radon's armor. You're either really good at this game or the actual worst, and whichever you are you think you're the other one. Alberich's robes. Heck extra intelligence. Pointy hat is the only way to wizard. Sporting stylish red glinstone you can't find anywhere else. This is the only set for mages who actually take the game seriously. The Ronin set. You're a weeb through and through, and you aren't afraid of everyone seeing it at first glance. Go ahead, king. Go off with your Nagakiba. The Carrion Knight set. As a knight of the Carrion Manor, you show respect to Moongrim for the absolute parry god he is, and use Moonvale relentlessly like the stars give out light. The War Surgeon set. Poise? What do you need that for when you plan on bleeding them out before they ever even see you? While it's true the white mask is often associated with being cringe by certain players, just because you're wearing this set, you're either a deadly threat or an absolute joke and there is no in-between. Malekith's armor. Nobody but you wears this set. That's right, this video is just for you because I personally love this armor but can't stand the helm. Keep doing you, King. You're cool. The Cuckoo Knight armor. This helm might be a little goofy, but that red and blue looks too good to pass up. You love cosplays and are one of the only players actually role-playing your way through this game. The Red Mane Knight Armor. You don't mind getting your hands dirty to farm out the armor you want and always look cool doing it. You strike fear into the hearts of your enemies as a loyal knight of Radon. The Gelmir Knight Set. This knight is never seen anywhere throughout the Lands Between, so you might as well take its place as you take your place as Elden Lord or PvP your way to the victory. The Lane Dell Knight Set. Underrated but stylish and powerful are all words that describe you perfectly. Go get him, King. The Knight's Cavalry Armor. The best black armor in the game with one of the best weapons in the game to go along with it. It has the plume, it has the cape, and it has the charisma no other black armor even comes close to. The Haywig Tree Knight Set. You found it. The pinnacle of Knight's Armor. It may not have a plume, but it gives the highest holy protection of all the faction Knight Armors. Mikola guides you to victory every time. The Mausoleum Knight Set. Okay, you're cool. Those Deathbird wings on your shoulders get in the way of your view, but the fashion levels are off the chart. Now if only you could take off your head, use Death Blight buffs, and glow white like the real deal. I'm partial to wearing the Godric Knight Helm with it myself. All Soldiers Armors. Did you pick this up on your playthrough or something? Because I just don't get you. I mean, the Knight Armor sets are like, right there. The Clean Rot Knight Armor. You found this armor early in the game, and it was your first love when it comes to armor in Elden Ring. And honestly, I see why. Queen Rat Knights might not have their wits anymore, but imagine them in their prime. Combine that with the best weapons of any knight but Crucible, and you've got a combination made in heaven. The Crucible Tree Armor. You like the Crucible Knight Armor, but you either want to use the Solurios Tree, or you respect that the Crucible Axe that needs a tree to chop. It's easy to get, and has good poise to boot. If you've chosen this armor, you've made a good choice. Crucible Knight Armor. You've gotta respect the classics, the Black Knight armor in Dark Souls 3, the Giant Dad armor in Dark Souls 1, and the Crucible Knight armor are all in utility and fashion classes of their own. Leave a suggestion of what armor set you want to see next in the comments.